Hi everyone, this is Vegas, and this week on Penny Play Ideas, we're going to talk about KTOV, so let's get started. So for those of you that know me, you will know that I love Israeli companies. I love Israeli biotech companies. I love Israeli anything because they are just so strong when it comes to research and technology. So let's talk about KTOV. I'm just showing you actually their office is in this tower located in Tel Aviv. They're actually on the 19th floor. So if you want to go to the website and do your own due diligence, the website's kitovpharma.com, and I'll put the link in the video. Um, but you can see here that they are a clinical stage company that focuses in therapies to overcome tumor immune evasion and drug resistance. And they also looking to help treat uh, people with cancer. They have so many things in the pipeline. I'm going to go through them with you because we have one of them, the CM24, has a partnership with Bristol Myers Squibb. And we also have a lot of updates coming this month. So this is going to be very important. Let's just take a quick look at the leadership team. So we have Isaac Israel. He's the CEO of the company. He's also a member of the board. Obviously, before that, he actually founded B Contact and he was a CEO there. He's also been involved in specializing in healthcare as a consultant. And also we have Gilles Efron. He's the deputy CEO and CFO. And you know what? He also was very involved in um, various companies also that were involved in the therapeutics industry. Then we have the chief medical officer, Bertrand Liang. You know, I really like his experience because he founded several biotech companies. And um, he also was the head at Biogen. And he also was involved in many new ventures. He was also the vice president and head of hematology and oncology at IDEC. He's also been involved in various um, schools of medicine, and uh, he also is had a lot of information published in various oncology and neurology uh, magazines. Then we have Michael Schickler, and he's also the head of clinical operations. He's also been in various biotech companies. He also was a CEO at CureTech. And he also helped expand a company, and he was involved as a director on the on the board. And then we have Dr. Gilles Ben Menachem, and he also was working at Teva Pharmaceuticals. He also did a lot of partners and acquisition deals for late stage drug candidates. He was also a CEO at one time. And we also have Hadas Ruveni. She's the vice president of research and development. And she co-invented the technology of Tier Novo, which is a biotech startup company. And she's been involved there since 2005. She has over 20 years of research and development experience in biotech. And she also has founded and served as CEO of Tier Novo's um, predecessor. And uh, you know what? She obviously has, been, has a fantastic experience. I have to say the leadership to pair is very, very strong. So now let's go into their pipeline because we want to see what is going on here. So we could see here that KTOV has uh, several programs. They have two oncology therapies and the company's first FDA approved Consensi. We can see that they have one called CM24. This one here is for the non-small cell lung cancer. This one's still in a preclinical phase one. Um, they've progressed. They are going to have some data if you pay, you have to pay attention. Uh, phase one data in the first half of 2021. And uh, we had a study initiation in um, the second the half of 2020. We also have the NT219, which is for head and neck cancer. 
This one here was a study that was initiated. We have phase one data also in 2021. Then we have the Consensi product, which is for the treatment of osteoarthritic pain and hypertension. Now, this is really important. This was approved for marketing by the US FDA on May 31st, 2018. And look at this, US launch Q1 of 2020. So I really like this one here. They said that uh, the product is expected to be launched in the first half of 2020 by KTOF's partner, Coeptus Pharmaceuticals. So we're going to take a look at some other things that have been happening with this company because they've been in the news a lot. And so you can see here that they did have a PR back in March and they did mention that the company's manufacturing partner is completing the packaging release and shipment of Consensi to Ketov's marketing partners and is expected to begin selling this in the U.S. in May 2020. Well, what is the date today? We are May the 10th. So what does that mean? Could we be getting a potential PR any day now this month? I'm thinking that a lot of people are expecting a PR this month. We Another thing too is according to the marketing distribution agreement, look how much money they'd be getting. Eligible to receive up to $99.5 million in milestone payments and royalties. And they expect to receive aggregate milestone and royalty revenues between 28 and $36 million between 2020 and through 2022. This is actually going to help them advance their emergence merging oncology pipeline which we need to see both the cm24 and the nt219 which i have talked about already into the clinic this year so this is very important information key words here very important from this pr from march 12th is that they're looking to begin selling this in the u.s may 2020 so that was announced back in march we haven't heard anything since so one of the things to know, you know, when you're in a biotech stock and, you know, there it is expected and very common practice to have a lot of offerings that happen. Uh, you have to understand that it's so expensive to do phase two trials and to also take it to the next level. But phase two is one of the most expensive phases. But nevertheless, KTOV has definitive agreements with several institutional and investors and so you can see here that they did have an offering and uh, happy to announce that the offerings closed so looks like the dilution is completely out of the way and so this stock is probably going to have some news probably anytime soon so we can see that the offering has been closed and that was actually closed within two days so i really like that news about the company and we also like what they've got in this pipeline so I'm going to also attach in the video, if you want, for your own due diligence, I can send you the slide presentation of KTOV, if those of you want to research some more. But you can see here that the Consensi, which is their U.S. launch, is in progress. This is the one we hopefully will hear some news on. We might even hear more some news on NT219. And we know that the strategic collaboration partner, already we have that information, so we could see that there's going to be a lot of it, probably news coming down the road on KTOV. You can see that they have the commercial drug to provide cash flow. They have institutional healthcare focused investors. They mentioned about their cash resources. A lot of revenue is going to come from the Consensi. And also they're talked about their market cap. So there is lots going on, and I really like what this company is involved in. I mean, we need so many treatments of so many different things, but I mean, this esophagus cancer and uh, the pancreatic cancer, I mean, my gosh, um, this would be life-changing to know that there could be some treatments uh, for so many of these medical um, cancers that are out there. So... I want to now just show you the chart. So I just want to show you guys the chart and you could see here uh, some volume surge. I mean, you could actually see the volume on Friday. We had over 76 million shares traded and um, that's also because the offerings closed and 
people are really liking the stock. So a lot of people have this from around 37 cents, me included. And um, I'm swing trading this stock. I mean, I really like the behavior. I like the company. I like what's in the pipeline. I'm expecting potentially some news. Again, this is not a stock for recommendation. We're just talking about why the stock is having some activity. Why are people swing trading it? What is going on? So I'm just showcasing what's is, what is happening here. Um, if you look at the weekly chart, look at this very big, huge volume bar. So definitely huge volume surge there. And the other thing too, um, this was bigger than any other day. Um, you can actually see if you go even back to like a year ago, nothing's been happening on this stock. As a matter of fact, all it's done is go downhill. And now we're starting to see a new uptrend. So we are seeing a pocket pivot on the stock. And when you see a pocket pivot, it is safe to assume that we're going to be on an uptrend on this particular stock. So it did close on Friday. You can see here that we did close the stock at $45. Uh, sorry, oh my god, $45. And you guys know, I mean, 45 cents. I wish it was $45. Oh my god, we could all retire. Um, 45 cents. And um, there is room for this to go next to 70 cents. And then if it breaks a dollar, okay, this has a pivot point of 144. And then we have the 200 day moving average at 178. We're going to have resistance at 226, probably some resistance also at $3 and then 374. Again, it's going to take a lot of volume and it's going to take some news to really push this through. I get, you know, a lot of people have swing trading this and are very patient. And the thing is, when you're in a swing trade, you have to be patient because you need to wait and see for the stock to continue this uptrend and have some sort of expansion break. And the only way it's going to happen at this point is with some news. So let's see what happens in the next couple days or the rest of this month. We are anticipating some news. Again, I'll put the links in the video below with the deck that you can read. You can read the company. You can do your own due diligence. And I wish you good luck, everyone, if you are swing trading the stock. Good luck and let's trade green. And if you are considering the trade, please do your own due diligence before you take any position. Have a great night, everyone, and talk to you soon. Bye for now.